So this particular hair came in a DHL bag. It also came with some flexi rods, a nice size flexi rods. And I have five bundles and a closure. So my bundles are 20 inches and my closure is a 16 inch. So here is the hair, it's nice, beautiful, medium luster, and here is the closure, it has the protective edges around it, and I just love this hair. The hair is so beautiful and soft. The bundles looks great, the tracks on them. It also has no bearding, I don't think I had any bearding on there. If it was, it was like barely there. The ends were very healthy. I always preach that you have to have good ends because you're going to be doing all the bleaching and dyeing. So here's another look at the hair. So beautiful, soft, and silky feeling. Love it so much. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the color job. So like always, I'm going in with coconut oil right before I go ahead and do my bleaching and you're going to go ahead and saturate that in the hair not too much just like a little coat on the front and the back and just work it in now I'm just mixing up some bleach and you're going to go ahead and brush through your hair to make sure you get all the tangles out so how I got all the colors in my hair I have five bundles and all five bundles I kind of did you know a little bit different I'll just leave the bleach in you know a little bit longer on each of the bundles so here I am putting on all the bleach we're going to saturate that all in the hair and I start from the bottom and work my way up I'm using 20 developers so that it won't lift too fast and I'll have time to you know eyeball it to the color that I like so you're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing saturate the hair with that bleach and at the top here, I'm just feathering it out to give more of a gradient look to the root area. Now I'm just going to open up the bundle to make sure I didn't miss any areas. So we're going to just open it and flip it and saturate some more. <laughs> if you run out of bleach, just go ahead and mix some more. This is how I get like inside of it. You're going to do your brush just like this to make sure you're getting all of the hair, you know, that you missed, that you couldn't get to from the top portion. So I'm done with that and I'm going to go ahead and add some foil over it and I'm going to just keep my eyes on it to see if I like the color. And that's about five to ten minutes later and I really do love this color so I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out. And here we go. That is how I got all the different colors in the hair. You know, it's all about timing. Just time it the way you want and you can have all the variations in your hair. The hair is still beautiful and shiny and healthy. The ends still look very nice. It's flowy. I just love this color. It's a nice everyday wig. So you can see there all the colors in the hair. So I'm not a professional by any means, so I'm sure this is not like a really professional job that I did, but I think I did pretty well. So if you do like this color, give me a thumbs up. If you do try it, let me know. I would love to see your results. And I'm loving it. I'm so in love with this hair. So here's what it looks like on very beautiful flowy the color goes very well with my skin tone I just love it so so much so if you guys have any requests on some different colors let me know I will try to get that out to you guys if you want to know more about this hair make sure you check out the description box below all the information will be down there and make sure you're following me and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video 
So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.